Welcome to the Line Makers on SportingNews.com. Hi, I'm Lou D'Amico. And if you thought the Super Bowl was big or the NCAA tournament in March Madness, well, you would be wrong. Let's go back to what really made Las Vegas. It was boxing. And I'm sitting next to a legend, a Hall of Famer here, Bob Sheridan. Bob, welcome to the Line Makers. Lou, great to be with you. Renew all acquaintances. And you're so right about boxing, what it's done for this town. And I'm thrilled that I was part of it because I call fights here from the late 60s right up until uh, till the present day. I'm calling a fight this weekend in Las Vegas. And uh, it's done so much for the town. When you talk about guys like Muhammad Ali fought so much of his career here, uh, Lennox Lewis, uh, Mike Tyson, and then of course Durant, uh, Leonard, Leonard Duran, uh, uh, Marvin Hagler, all those, all those great greats. fights all took place here and it was a wonderful time in Las Vegas and it still is. It still is a very exciting time to be in Vegas. We have a big WBC middleweight championship fight this weekend. You want to tell us about it? Yeah, well, uh, I'm taking a look at the odds here now. I see Julio Cesar Chavez, who's the reigning uh, WBC champ, is actually uh, an underdog here. He's plus 180, and Sergio Martinez uh, around some sports book is minus uh, 220. Now, you've got uh, experience, and in, in, uh, in certainly Sergio Martinez, and with uh, Julio Cesar Chavez, he has to live up to the legend of his dad, which is absolutely impossible. But you know something, Lou? I've broadcast several of Chavez's fights, and I think this could be the night for him. If I'm betting the fight, which I will, I'm going to bet on Chavez. I think Martinez should be the favorite, no question about it. By the sports books, they have it right. But I think this is a live dog in Chavez because I've seen a steady improvement in this kid, and he showed me that he has courage. When he last couple of fights, he's gotten some trouble during the fight, and he came back and he fought. And that's to me is indicative of a guy who's, who's ready to make a big move. And that's what he has to do. He's got to beat somebody really great like this 37-year-old former champ. And he has he has definitely the height. He's bigger than Martinez. He, I think he's about two inches bigger than him, taller than him. And he's certainly going to be making the weight of 160 would be no problem for him. No problem whatsoever. And, and uh, so you bring out a lot, of, a lot of points why this should be a terrific fight. Last weekend, I did a fight in Oakland, California. It was my 926 world title fight. Before that, they go back to 1968, and I bring this up because I did my first world title fight there. It was Jimmy Ellis and Jerry Corey in 1968. So, you know, that was a terrific fight last weekend is why I bring it up. And there are a lot of good fights around. And people say, what's happened? Well, because all the heavyweights are fighting over in Europe, they don't right. appreciate the other fights. The aficionados do because, again, these are terrific fights. These are terrific fights. And what would you, how would you give the chances of, say, Martinez or Chavez Jr. against Ward? Uh, well, uh, Ward's uh, fighting so well right now. I'd, I'd go with him uh, uh, until I see him lose. I'd stick with Ward. Bob, I want to thank you for being with me here at the Line Makers. And uh, it's really been an honor and a pleasure for me to interview you. Thank you so much. I want to thank our people out there watching the Line Makers on SportingNews.com. And we'll see you next time. Hi, this is Floyd Mayweather coming to you live from the MGM Grand, and you're watching Line Makers.